A servo motor is a rotary actuator or linear actuator that allows for precise control of angular or linear position, velocity, and acceleration. It consists of a suitable motor coupled to a sensor for position feedback. It also requires a relatively sophisticated controller, often a dedicated module designed specifically for use with servometers. Servometers are not a specific class of motor, although the term servometer is often used to refer to a motor suitable for use in a closed-loop control system. Servometers are used in applications such as robotics, CNC machinery or automated manufacturing. Mechanism. A servometer is a closed-loop servomechanism that uses position feedback to control its motion and final position. The input to a control is a signal, either analog or digital, representing the position commanded for the output shot. The motor is paired with some type of position encoder to provide position and speed feedback. In the simplest case, only the position is measured. The measured position of the output is compared to the command position, the external input to the controller. If the output position differs from that required, an error signal is generated which then causes the motor to rotate in either direction as needed to bring the output shaft to the appropriate position. As the positions approach, the error signal reduces to zero and the motor stops. The very simplest servometers use position only sensing via a potentiometer and bang bang control of their motor. The motor always rotates at full speed or is stopped. This type of servometer is not widely used in industrial motion control, but it forms the basis of the simple and cheap servos used for radio controlled models. More sophisticated servo motors use optical rotary encoders to measure the speed of the output shaft and a variable speed drive to control the motor speed. Both of these enhancements, usually in combination with a pit control algorithm, allow the servometer to be brought to its commanded position more quickly and more precisely, with less overshooting. Encoders the first servometers were developed with synchros as their encoders. Much work was done with these systems in the development of radar and anti-aircraft artillery during World War II. Simple servometers may use resistive potentiometers as their position encoder. These are only used at the very simplest and cheapest level and are in close competition with stepper motors. They suffer from wear and electrical noise in the potentiometer track. Although it would be possible to electrically differentiate the position signal to obtain a speed signal, PIT controllers that can make use of such a speed signal generally warrant a more precise encoder. Modern servometers use rotary encoders, either absolute or incremental. Absolute encoders can determine their position at power on, but are more complicated and expensive. Incremental encoders are simpler, cheaper and work at faster speeds. Incremental systems, like stepper motors, often combine their inherent ability to measure intervals of rotation with a simple zero position sensor to set the position at startup. Instead of servometers, sometimes a motor with a separate, external linear encoder is used. These motor plus linear encoder systems avoid inaccuracies in the drivetrain between the motor and linear carriage, but their design is made more complicated as they are no longer a pre-packaged factory-made system. Integrated servometers. Integrated servometers are designed so as to include the motor, driver, encoder and associated electronics into a single package. Please like, share, and subscribe. Our channel. Thank you for joining Europe.com.